we could have got rid of or possibly more depending on how many faces are used to cap the ends of the axles with the construction of the cab and if you look at these measurements it's simply a matter of dragging and dropping another cube and adding these measurements into the scale to size portion of that dialogue I'm just going to go and do that and then we'll see the results I'm not going to do it step by step from now on we'll just uh, get our new bit we need and add, this, add the measurements in and you should be able to do that by now that'll speed things up a little bit enter the cab what needs to be done to the cab is to remove the bottom face and that's done but later on I'm going to build another cab the same as this one and then scale it by an amount to 0.99 so select the cab press ctrl c click somewhere else press ctrl v select the cab ctrl v our new cab appears right click on that new cab scale by amount and then in all three put 0.99 hit enter and what we end up with is a cab that's just slightly smaller and we also remove the bottom face of that one is all already removed because it's a copy of this one and we need to shift this one into the same space as this one by copying its position three point Actually, it'd be easier to zero zero them. Zero, zero, zero. The same with this one. Zero, zero, zero. And what you'll find is the new cab should fit snugly inside the old one and we're not going to really utilize this at the moment but we'll find it we'll find later on that's easier when we go to texture and we can have our our inside cab view and look through the windows and you'll be able to see inside and it won't go straight through to nothing just selecting the outside cab and selecting this one. I'm just going to scale it down a little bit more. To 
we have a nice interior to our cab. Now what we want to do is, in the hierarchy, select first outer shell for the cab. And it's this one, we'll rename this to cab outer. And this one, cab interior, because we'll just need to keep an eye on them later on. And we'll place those two in the same group. So that where one goes, the other will go. Quick word on the hierarchy. We have used it before to make the, um, the uh, outhouse and we, I described how it represents every object on the, on the uh, scene and, and part of every part of your model. And um, to start with, every time you add something to the scene, it's also added to the hierarchy as a child of the scene. Now, at the moment, we haven't really focused much on the hierarchy and we haven't um, named everything, but I've just named these two things because I want to keep an eye on those. The other things are obvious, but we will go through and name everything which is, is a requirement anyway before we export, but we'll get to that. Now we're going to place the cab in the correct position and that will mean figuring out how far from the front of the cab it goes from the front of this point. Now I've measured that in my and calculated it in my spreadsheet and it's 0.366 from the front of this. Now to get to the front of that we have to go forward the length of it which is 8.85 to get to the front. So let's put that into the properties. On our Z, 8.8. And which puts us at the front. Now we have to come back from the front half the length of the cab, which is 0.9525. We have to come back to a position of back from there of 7.903, which as you can see puts the cab flush at the edge there. So all we need to do now is go back our measurement that we worked out on the edge. 